Hey guys, Matt here from Mobile Homes. I know it's been a little while since we've done one of these, but we do have some new houses here, so we definitely want to check them out. This is probably our most popular of the new additions. This one we call the Presley. Like the boy Elvis Presley. This is a Capco Builder. It's a KB Series. Uh, the model number is a 3246. So they have some new options in this house. This is a smoke blue or blue charcoal. It's the name of this blue LP siding that they offer. You can do it all the way around the house so you can have it broken up kind of like we do here. Uh, this looks really good with the white vinyl. Oh, also we've got a new front door with Capco. Really nice brown cottage style door. This is still a steel door, so it's still really nice. All right. It's a lot of resemblance to the tiger cat in this house in the layout, uh, but it's you know, some new flares. So new wall colors, new fireplace, electric fireplace, but they have it sunk into the wall instead of protruding out like they used to. Uh, let's see here, new floors. Painted gray is the name of that color. Now with the KB series, they do come with two by six exterior walls, metal faucets, rolled counters. You got the wood cabinets. That's the main biggest upgrade in the KBs is these wood cabinets. They do the wood doors and the sides and the styles. All that's wood. Got your data plate there. Shows the year, the make, and the Serial number, stainless appliances, they use Whirlpool. They do have a few upgrades that you can do with it. And you can also do gas on your range. New backsplash as well. This is their black subway tile. They offered in white. Looks really good. Has a nice clean look to it. Now this house has a pantry. There's a light in there too. So this house is a 32 by 82, uh, about 2,400 square feet. Let's see, four bed, three bath, tile floors, plywood underneath on your subfloor. Like I said, two by six exterior walls, two by four interior walls. All the lumber in the house, 16 inches on center. You got the cordless blinds, the two inch, uh, they call them plantation blinds or yeah, a faux wood. But all you do is pull it down. Yeah, and then just well push it back up and it goes up. Let's see, so this one's got the recessed back porch on it, which is a nice little touch, it, especially if you know plan on doing a big back porch, but you don't have to do it immediately. You can take your time, wait for the price of lumber to come down a little bit. Uh, but in the meantime, you do have a nice area to kind of sit and hang out, drink your coffee in the morning. So as I said, this is a four three. So you got one of the guest rooms here. Got a little mini hallway. Oh, with the tile floor, they do lay it seamless across. So there's no trip bar. Uh, the KBs, they also have the round corners. So this is one of the guest rooms, really good size. Good size. This is probably, actually, I guess, the smallest closet of the guest rooms, but you know, it's still, still pretty decent. There's some extra parts in there. These are all custom, so if you want to tweak the layout, we can find a way to make that closet larger. And some extra storage. Big Vanderbilt tub in the guest room. Mm -hmm. And then pour some sinks and still the wood cabinets in the guest baths. Oh, this closet. This closet's always larger than what I think it is. Larger than it looks. So, you know, nothing there, but it just keeps going. I don't think I have a light in here, but let me see pretty good. Really good walk-in closet for a guest room. And then this one has a den area as well. This is a new wall color too. I don't know if you tell in the video, 
It's called Krypton. It's like a, a light blue. Two by six walls, you also get the R13 insulation. Of course, it has ceiling vents. So this room you have, uh, oops, sorry about being shaky. You have your, uh, I'm just gonna take my sunglasses off. You have its own private bathroom. Sorry, I can't get the words out. So this one, we have a combo tub shower in here, but you can also do just a regular shower, which is what we find that most people end up doing because this is either gonna be for your oldest kid or um, guest room. And, you know, with a shower, not many guests take baths at other people's house, but you still have a walk-in closet. But yeah, you can sub it out for it. You can even do a tile shower in there if you like. You can do that in the other bathroom too. Laundry room's on the end, so it's really good if you want to set up a, dry, a driveway carport deal. You got the big mop sink, freezer space in here, wash and dryer area with some overheads. Uh, I think this was, yeah, just extra storage back here. Nice place to keep vacuums and brooms and whatnot. <clears throat> All right, let's make our way to the other side of the house. You can also do a wood burning fireplace, of course, in these. I forget that most manufacturers don't do wood burning fireplaces, but Capco will definitely do wood burning. Now they have some new tile. So this is Calcutta Gold is the name of this tile. They just started doing tile on the tub as well. You got the big soaker tub, nice frosted window, and then really beautiful shower. Tile looks really good in the shower. We need to clean our shower apparently, a little dusty. Just got your overhead and the wand. And really good uh, little vanity area. Why oh, you need a little stool. You'll be all set. And of course a big walk-in closet. Can't go without a walk-in closet. And of course I'm not sure. Very good. Love this shower. Really good shower. And all these options are available in any of their houses, even if it's not a KB series. Really, the only thing you can't do in their MD series that you, you have to do a KB is the cabinets. KB cabinets are wood cabinets. MDs are MDF cabinets. But they are, I mean, even your super high end $300,000 houses, I mean, they're. The cabinets still aren't as good as Capco's KB's. You got a bunch of storage on the island too. And you got a little trash drawer. Some people are mixed feelings about trash drawers. Uh, I hear some stuff gets trapped in the back, which understandable. But yeah, let's see. I think I covered everything here. Uh, you know, Price wise, it's it's a volatile market right now. You're gonna be around the 200. You're not really much north of it. Um, now that would be you know with local uh, delivery included, but you know it just kind of depends. I'm working on updating our website too. Uh, I'm gonna try to have some type of kind of like a lead generation system to where I can report back to the factories. You can put in a zip code on the website and tell you whether or not it's a serviceable area. And then also if it's outside of our comfort zone, what's the closest retailer that carries the same houses. So that's what I'm trying to do. I, I think I know how. I just, man, it's been <laughs> recently had a child. We've been really busy at work. Uh, so I've been trying to get back into doing more. It's just it takes a little bit more time. 
But that is on my agenda. And I also want to just update some options and pictures and houses and everything on there too. But uh, thanks guys for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time.